I am Sheena Mahoney. I'm one of our Jail Diversion Program co-response supervisors. Um, all of our clinicians are embedded directly in police departments, so they'll come in, they'll probably get settled in whatever area of the department they've sort of taken over. They're likely to check in with the dispatchers to let them know that they're available for any calls, and then they'll do typical office stuff, go through emails and reports, and then they'll wait to be needed by the officers who are on the road interacting with the community. My name is Aramis Velez. I'm a patrolman with the local police department. Being a patrolman, you, you go to various calls, you respond to various calls, and uh, a lot of them now, especially now, have been uh, with mental health uh, crises. So having a clinician come and help us with the mental health crisis uh, is extremely beneficial. We can kind of take a little bit more step back and allow actually a professional to kind of deal with them, but still providing that safety and cover as well. For a clinician general, it's, it's good to have the trait of being one professional, um, providing empathy, but also understanding the situation and the dangers of the situation as well. You have to have a little bit of confidence to stand your own in a room full of officers who maybe don't trust you right off the bat. It definitely is a partnership. Um, I rely on them to know that I can be a resource to them because if they don't take me on a call then I can't do my job. They do become a huge part of that tight-knit group because they're going to calls with us. Then you kind of have to love the chaos a little bit, but not get taken over by it. Definitely rewarding uh, when we come to that successful outcome.